Today I'll show you guys how to program yourself some nice rounded corners in Windows 10 using a dangerously old library and horribly inefficient functions. And don't worry, do enough backflips and compromises and you can even get it to work properly while playing video games. First, fire up your favorite web browser and get the simple direct media layer development libraries from their website. I'll link it in the description. Follow along with their guide for integrating into your IDE or a code will have more red lines than a serial killer's bathtub. Next, launch Visual Studio and create a new empty project in C. Give it a suitable name, and now we can get started with the code. First, include all the dependencies we'll need for this project, such as SDL libraries and Conio. Oh, no. Grab your desktop's width and height using the get system metrics call, and let's start constructing our main function. Create the SDL window we'll be rendering to, as well as the surface our window will be constrained to, our desktop. Combine some flags to give your program dictatorial power and precedence over anything else in your PC, and declare an integer for the amount of pixels we'll round by. In my case, I chose 10 since it came out nice. Results will vary based on your desktop resolution and which Daedric Lord you make offerings to. Now, let's initialize our SDL window and renderer, and set our pen color to magenta. We use magenta to mimic a weird sort of green screen effect, like the one you see in Discord memes or professional filmmaking. Using magenta as our chroma key, we'll copy whatever's going on behind each of our magenta pixels onto the top pixel of our screen, effectively making the whole thing transparent. Here I call a bunch of functions I wrote later on that essentially draw the corners onto our SDL canvas. I'll include the source to these below, but for the love of whichever god you believe in, do not copy them as they are horribly inefficient to a dangerous extent and will not work on your computer. After some devil magic, we can update our screen, similar to how a video game updates every frame, so our changes reflect onto our SDL window. Right here is where we actually color the magenta pixels transparent. By doing this to all of our magenta pixels and ignoring the rounded corners which I set to black up above, we've successfully given Windows rounded corners. To keep our program running, at the very end I'll ask the terminal for a character input, and only terminate once the user presses any key, using the underscore getch, a non-standard bufferless function from our included Tonio library. After this, we call the function to destroy our SDL window and quit the SDL subsystems to avoid any more memory leaks. Run your program in debugging mode and start driving to Micro Center to order a new PC. If somehow you manage to get it running correctly, you'll have these nice rounded edges. Sometimes the backlight will make the black corners not appear as a perfect black, more gray, and any dark window behind the corners will make them seemingly disappear. But still, in certain situations, they can look quite nice. Anyways, Thank you so much for watching. Now I'd like to tell you about this video sponsor. Wait, not really. I just want to say that this video wasn't meant to be a comprehensive tutorial on how to do this. Just the way I figured out how to do it in one night and also the same night that I actually learned C. So I'm sure half the things I said in this video are incorrect. So feel free to point it out in the comments. It should be pretty interesting. Uh, but don't get worked up if I said anything absurdly dumb because I promise you I know that I'm bad at this and I highly recommend you don't do it my way because it could mess up something on your computer. But feel free to try it yourself another way and let me know how you might go about doing this. Thank you. Bye-bye. Oh, no. I missed that.